this thing on? Well, let's hope so. Okay, so I had a little problem here that has been bothering me with the whole of this little C brush. Um, and that is... Oh god, I'm so going to mess up here. Um, how do I create more than two curves that I then want to use for shading stuff? Uh, mark <coughs> masking stuff, sorry. Um, because, apparently, I'm only allowed to have two, which is annoying when you maybe want to have a more intricate pattern. Um, for example, something like... Oh, come on. For example, something like this, and then you would like to have an edit editable curve next to that, and then maybe extend something of this here around, and then this here around, and all this needs to be editable, because maybe I want to come in again and want to... Um, you know, um, want to uh, edit it later on. So I have been tinkering a little bit. And give me a moment, please. Couldn't get OBS to use the second screen, which is a little bit bigger than this one, to. Uh, be my source. And of course I'm on camera now. <laughs> okay, so how do we solve this? Well actually, quite easy. We are going to use this topology here. And we're going to have one curve and another curve and another curve and another curve. Okay, but it is also said that we are not allowed or we cannot quite edit it in any way. Or it is possible, but um, maybe a bit finicky. I didn't find any um, tutorial that was actually in pictures on YouTube. So, how do we go on like this here? Well, we are using a curve brush, but not any of the IMN ones, the insert mesh curve, we are going to use something that changes the topology directly. For example, this, thank you ZBrush, curve pinch tool. And usually this curve pinch tool here is... What is this? There we go. And this curve pinch tool here usually would change your topology. As you can oi, get in. As you have been able to just see. Or maybe not. It did just do that right. There we go which would usually pinch the topology a little bit. Maybe you can see this here too. Nope, we can't. There we go. So, what if we turned off C at and C sub? Well, in that case, it allows us to manipulate the curves any way we want. Of course, with the regular uh, lock end, lock start, maybe bend, snap, that is up to you, whatever you need. And then, in order to uh, use these curves here to the bestest and fullest potential, we are decreasing this a little bit and uh, then hold control. Maybe we'll cover more detective. And we're going to draw out our mask. Just like so. And we are still able to manipulate the curves.
There we go. And there we do have our mask. Delete. Mask complete. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's have it like so. So, the process again, maybe with a little bit less stuttering. Brush, topology, draw the curve in any way you would like to. Maybe with or without lazy mouse, that is up to you. Actually, you don't need the lazy mouse for the curves. Change the brush to maybe the uh, Curve Pinch tool. Deselect Z Add or Z Sub because those are going to um, do stuff with your topology. Actually, I guess we could also use the uh, Curve Standard here. Because if we did that now, we would be able to see changes in the topology. Yeah, there we go. Like so. But since we do not want this, we would like to have nothing of this sort. We're going to turn off C add. And that allows us to, on this machine here, slowly, laggily, edit our curves. Maybe we want to lock start and lock end. So we're going to do that one. Drag them out nice and smooth. Hold the mask. And drag the mask. Hold the mask. Drag the mask. Hold the mask and drag the mask. And if we do not like this, Control and Alt to delete the mask. Of course, there's always going to be some residue for this one. And over here too. Because we can. Now we can. Or delete the mask. And once we're done, curve functions, delete. Ta da! our mask. All nice and smooth and however we wanted to create it. There we go. Probably the very first tutorial on how to get multiple curves onto the mesh. Still being able to edit them and then do with them whatever you want to. Isn't that nice? I sure hope so. Bye bye how do I turn this thing off? Oh, right. <laughs>